Um, as you heard, I have had sort of two careers in healthcare. I've been in healthcare for a little over 30 years now. The first half of my career, I worked for insurance companies. You may have heard of some of them, Cigna, Blue Cross, Kaiser. What I did in that role was basically took money away from good folks like yourself. Um, I negotiated contracts against physicians and hospitals. I was paid for how low I could buy health care. Um, that's what my bonus was structured on. Uh, I will tell you that um, the payer world rewards folks that can do that very, very well. Halfway through my career, about 13 years ago, I got a little disillusioned with what I was doing to the independent practice of medicine, had an epiphany, if you will, um, left a very good job at a Blue Cross plan and started a company trying to help physicians. I have uh, five more years until my karma is balanced and then I'm okay, um, and I hope to get there. What we're gonna do this morning is really actually sort of a combination of about two, of two speeches. The first half of this, I'm gonna sort of set the stage on what's happening from a macro perspective in healthcare. Because you have to understand what's going on, where it's going, to really set the stage for the second half, which is a broad look at strategic and tactical practice management from a business perspective. You all have the clinical stuff down. I have no doubt about that. This is about how to handle the business stuff so that you can be there for the clinical. Okay, A lot of the information from the back half is a two-year project that I did with a large medical group, a specialty group, trying to take them through a lot of these items. It was a two-year stint of my life that only felt like seven years, but there was an awful lot of learning there, and the practice actually is in a much better position now because they went through the rigor of that.